Hey guys, so now we're here today on the Kev Adventures Food Journey on YouTube to show you how to cook your turkey neck, your curry turkey neck. We call this in a Jamaica, you know, or get the oxtail. See, look just like oxtail, but it's turkey neck. So you have to clean off these little things off it. See me just rest them there. Okay? So that's the first step. So I've already started the cleaning process you know guys. So you know you clean you strip off like the little extra skin and those things off it and then you you wash. So I'll you will be washing with the guys you know to get away a little bit of the rawness. Alright so I'll be showing you today how I do my curry turkey neck with bean with butter bean with my Alaska butter bean and my food ground provision banana yam pumpkin and caramel dumpling okay so stick and stay I'll be right back to show you how I prepare my curry turkey neck and bean meal on Kev's adventurous food journey remember stick and stay okay guys so and now I've done cleaning off all of the dead outer layer. You know that little fat area there for me, my turkey neck. Make sure see all of them gone. Now I'm going to wash again. So I keep a little of my Eve vinegar on. And then I run my water all over to wash it off properly. Okay, guys? Okay guys, so see me draining it off. I have a drain pan, but you know me already do that tonight. So I'm gonna season out with starting with my curry, a little jerk, and some of my blended seasoning that I have made and a little salt. Okay guys, so first you know you have to put the main ingredient. So you put enough, I would say around two tablespoons of salt two tablespoons of curry sorry and a half tablespoon of salt like so okay guys a little more if you feel like it I'm doing it the Kev adventurous way then my jerk chili spice so this consists of a pimento and all of them something there eh? and then sometimes I'll put a little bit of this but I don't really need it today my blended season I just tip it all over okay guys it already have pepper skelly and all of that because you know you're not ready for them there's something there yet okay and then I'm gonna make sure I rub all of that in to put it down to soak a little bit okay guys so stick and stay after you put on that if you have a little piece of pepper you don't have to cut up a lot in this yet you know just for taste we start after cooking so you just cut up your piece of pepper that you have in it you know wash and cut them up real fine because they will cook them in the first cook to give you that nice turkey neck spicy curry taste okay guys and then you rub up okay so yes and I like mine spicy so you know I'm gonna leave out my walkers wood scotch bonnet pepper okay so this is chopped pepper in a liquid form and if you want that little kick you buy this trust me okay I'm not getting paid, but it's good. Okay, guys, so just come along with me on the Kev's adventurous food journey and I'll show you how. You see that pretty look? Look at that. Oh, man. Whew. All right, 
So that is going to soak for a couple minutes, around 15 minutes before I put it into the pot. And uh, I'll be doing some other stuff like getting my food ready. See, I've already have my pot on the stove prepped, okay, and ready to go just to light it up now, let it get hot and start to peel. And also, I'll be putting in some mixed vegetable and all of these seasons will be going into my turkey neck along with the bean. Okay guys, so stick and stay. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so see we have the water on for our food and we are now getting it ready and prepared. So in this amount of water, you can just put a teaspoon of salt, you know, for your food. A little bit over that, okay? And cover for it to start to boil. Make sure you want to add when you put in your food, because you don't want it to be drunk. Okay, guys, let's see over here now. I have my banana. I'm going to put on some water now. Okay. Start mark and peel and my yams. Okay guys. And I'm gonna work with. Okay. See? So I'm gonna peel them now guys. So stick and stay. Peeling our banana so you have to mark your banana like this. Cut off the top, cut off the bottom. Mark it now. Okay guys, so see me putting in my cow meal in my flour. So this amount of flour is about a pound and a half. And you just sprinkle your cow meal to how you like your cow meal dumpling. I don't like mine too heavy, so that's how I do it. Okay, and salt now, half teaspoon. And I need more than that, you know, you know if you didn't take in too much salt, probably that, see? Half teaspoon. Yeah, nice yellow yam for the pot. So I'm gonna peel my yams down. Okay guys, so see, yam is a little bit harder to cook. You know, you put in your pumpkin, so you put in your yam first. Okay guys, so, just do like that. You put your yams in, okay? And then we're gonna finish the with the bananas now to go in, okay? So the stick and stay. Okay guys, so we have your bananas going in now. You know these are for going in the hot water and we have your pumpkin coming with. Bam, then they're not take long to cook. Okay guys, so just watch and stick and stay. Dumpling is gonna be next. So the stick to Kev's adventure food journey and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are making our dumplings now. Okay, so you see when I'm putting them in. Yes guys, so see me I finish up the dumplings now. See that? In a couple of seconds. Not no leave. Guys, you talk about dung in the ghetto, you know, guys. Yeah, talk about look at that. Pretty beautiful flower. See that? Nice calming dumpling to go with your curry, turkey neck and bean. Okay guys, so we're gonna make some dumplings and put in now. Stick and stick. Okay guys, so see we finish with the flour here, well set and nice. So, we're going to check in on, on these now. Wow. Okay. Yeah man, so. Water hot and all of that. So you see, you have to have these. Now take up the water and take this to check your stuff. And now for my dumpling. Quick and fast. 
drop in. Quick and fast. Drop in. Okay, guys? So, I'll be right back with the meat now. With the curry, turkey neck, and bean process. So, guys, see? Nice dumpling in a pot, and you know, now the country, if you have the last roll in one here for the for the pitney them. So, see? Welcome to Jamaican style cooking. Okay? Dumpling cook very easy. That's your flour dumpling. Okay, everything is now submerged. And last but not least, the steak. And I'm gonna show you where I drop on the top of that. Now normally we do that. So you wash your plantains, right plantains? And you just place them. As these now no need for submerged for boil. And then you half mass your pot, and that's it. Okay, so we soon looking back on this as soon as it's ready. Okay, guys, so see, we're ready now. I think we are curry turkey neck has been soaked and ready for the pot. See, our pot has already been prepped and been heating with our oil, so this is also my style and probably a couple of people style well, put a little away, curry in my thing and uh, cut a piece of pepper, fry up in my oil, okay guys, and then we do so now. And drop in me. And call it. Turkey neck. And over there. Okay, guys, so it's in our pot now. So let's cover that. If you have a real good Dutchy pot, you know. A real good Dutchy pot, we have covered good. Okay? See, the turkey neck and butter bean dish. Okay, so we have the curry turkey in the, in the pot now, cooking down, and we are on our way. Okay, so stick and stay, guys. So we are moving over our juices from turkey, you know, a little curry juice and something. So we move it over to a smaller piece you now. And put away that to wash so we can you now add all of these in there. And our carrot and our onions and stuff so stick and stay okay guys yeah man so we can do the cutting board thing but not today guys you know we are use up our onions properly and just make some nice like onion cut to our curry turkey neck i mean i use the back part of the onion there but as i cut it off okay guys so we cut our carrot in two me already wash wash it again so we cut it like we split it in two so you have some half a slices okay guys uh, carrot is good for you you know that them say good for your eyesight and all of that okay so you cut up your carrot and I cut them too thick that too thin that's perfect so you wash and you cut up your skillet some pepper so you make sure you put in a pepper and you want anything to taste good enough. You understand? Jamaicans cook with a whole pepper spice. And drop it in. Everything I'm going to drop it in at the same time, okay? Put in some of your chili spice in your thing. Same jerk season. Chili season, we call it, because it's full of so much pepper. Put that in there. Okay? And if you tip a little bit, and your sharp pepper sauce because it has a little tangy taste to it you know, so it makes it taste better okay guys pick a half teaspoon of salt you know remember say your jerk spice have a lot of salt tonight so you have to be careful 
some water and a half cup half of this cup water see step up now so you see uh, the carrot the mixed vegetable with the green peas because my mixed vegetable most have green peas and corn and so in it so I put I add my carrot because it hardly have any carrot in it okay Okay, so a lot of people now want to make for them meal authentic and personal. See? Just a little drop. So just call that a little tip of your browning in that. And guys, I'm telling you, in case you don't know, mark my words, it makes it better. And then you stir that in. See, you get a little slight brownish color but when it cook you're going to see the color that you have guys but it spice it up trust me you can taste the season water mmm so you know exactly what your meat is going to taste like so you put that down make it soak up in your green peas and your carrot and you mark my word when you put that onto your turkey neck to cook down miracle ever happen okay so stick and stay Okay guys, so see, we now have to ask if we think them cooking it. See the star pull away from it, the planting, okay. You now have to ask if a banana them are cooked because see the banana are broke. Okay guys, so everything is working out perfectly in the pot along with your pumpkin and your dumplings, okay. Look like them agree, everybody will get along, okay. So I'm just checking in on this now and seeing what is going on down there okay the yams i'm going for my yams now to see what piece look like wow beautiful okay guys so you have to sink back them something there and my tougher one I make the softer one them stay on top make that go and boil soon done so you don't have to really pay too much more attention to that that just uh, soap now okay so that's your yam Dumpling, banana, sweet planting, ripe planting, should say, and your pumpkin, some good, nice, dry pumpkin. Okay, so that's your food for your turkey neck and bean dish. Okay, guys, so we're checking in on our turkey neck. See, so wow, look at that, guys! Look at that, guys! Woo! My mommy not showing no juice, no nothing like that. Just what comes out of the meat. Just leave a little stir and then you cover it back. Wow. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. Okay, guys, okay, adventurers. So, see, everything else already now. Everything here is ready. Okay, soft, soft, soft. And you know, you don't clean them cook. Okay, because as I tell you, yeah, so this is a pack ship today, guys. So everything is ready and good. Okay, so see, now I'm turning off my stove and that, and I'm just moving over to my turkey neck. Okay, guys, I'm moving over to my turkey neck. See, cooking down nicely. Use a fork now to the juke and test. Okay, guys, stick and stay. Okay, guys, so we're just checking in on our curry turkey neck here. Oh, God, that dropped. Okay, so the man that one would have tipped a little water on it. Okay, guys, so. Just to, to show you what's going on. I cook them nicely. Perfect. Okay. Okay, guys. Yeah. So that's a curry turkey and cooking dough. Stick and stay. Okay 
Okay, adventurers, we're checking in on again. Seat are dry down nicely now. We put this out of the way. And it's perfect. It's coming on perfect. Okay, guys? So just look at that, guys. Look at that. I'm going to move out of the way so you can get the right lighting. Look at that, guys. Out there. It's a curry neck, curry turkey neck coming on beautifully. Okay, so next stage now we're gonna add our bean. So I'm gonna cut my bean out to add it. Okay, guys, so see we have our last cup butter bean here. Just throw on that with the water and everything. Some people throw up the water, I may not do that. Okay, you see these beans now they are kind of a little bit hard if you know that's why I cook them a little before I put in my carrot and stuff you understand? yeah to make them soften a little bit guys okay so put a little water in this and make them cook down with the meat a little so soon come back okay guys so see that is what I want look so I'm um, to the bean them I'm gonna mash a little but then now mash out okay so at this point now I add my see I want to this ingredient so I put it on your plate make sure everything gets sorted out and you throw it all over. You see that? One of the juices. Whew. Scrape out every little thing, my adventurers. Scrape out every little thing and then you shape them down. Okay? So, just your just wire your carrot and you mix vegetable cook a little and then I'll show you when the, it's done. Stick and stay, guys. Okay, guys, so you put a little piece of it, or you can put it to your leisure. Remember, this is my way, my style, my way. I put a, a little bit of cooking butter in my curry, turkey neck and bean. Okay, guys, when that melts down, and then I turn my fire back up a little. See that? So what's taking place guys look at around the edges okay guys fire get rank okay so stick and stay to see finished product kev's adventurous food journey meal this is the curry turkey neck and bean meal and showing how to cook your curry turkey neck and bean with food okay guys so we'll be serving up that soon so stick and stay to see the finished product okay guys so see we are at the end of our curry turkey neck and bean dish and we basically it's ready okay mm -hmm. perfect okay guys See, you test your carrots so you don't want them to cook out too much. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect, guys. Wow. You see that? Woo! To see what it looks like, let me use a spoon. So, your beans and all of that guys okay so as you can see I'll show you what it looks like when it is sheer and ready to eat okay guys so see I'm showing you now the finished product of my turkey neck and bean that's the curry turkey neck and bean with your food to go okay guys so 
your banana, your dumplings, your plantain, and your pumpkin with your turkey neck and bean with all your garnish and stuff. So please enjoy and remember, like, share, and subscribe. Kev Adventurous Food Journey. Okay, so that's Kev Adventurous Food Journey. It's another adventurous meal and I'll keep them coming. I'll remember, I'll keep those meals coming. So it's Kev Adventurous Style. Turkey neck and bean. Okay guys? Bye!